Okay, today we're going to be palpating the supersternal notch. We're going to be finding the T7 vertebrae, and then we're going to be uh, measuring the lateral flexion. So, oh, did I need to Alex? Okay, so we're going to find the inferior angle of the scapula, and right below that is the seventh rib. So we're going to be following that <coughs> along. Okay, and right, that right there is the spinous process of the T7 vertebrae. So if you turn around for me. And then, okay, we're going to find this clavicle over right here, and then we're going to follow that that is body, and that right there is the suprasternal notch. And then for lateral flexion, you start from the floor and then measure to his fingertips. So you can have your fingers stretched out as far as you can. You can go 28 and a half inches. And then go ahead and the flex. <coughs> 21 and a half inches. <coughs> so he's got about 7 inches of lateral flexion. <coughs> 